Hey y'all, Tammy here with Happy Art Creations and welcome, welcome today. Hey, you know what? I'm still, um, I'm excited about the swipe I did the other day with the blue bonnets and that's going to post tomorrow, um, which is Tuesday. And anyhow, this is how it dried and I want to show you how gorgeous. Look at that. Can you see that? It's mostly dry. There's a few places I wouldn't dare touch, but look at that up close. And it has a little bit of texture on it. The paint was a little bit thick and I was kind of afraid whether or not to post my video because of it. But I thought, well, you know, if it doesn't turn out, at least you guys know that I surely don't do it right all the time. Um, far from that. So anyhow, I'm going to do another one of these, but I'm going to do one with like a summer fling with all the flowers that are coming out now that a lot of places, at least here in Tennessee, a lot of the garden centers and things are opening, or they are open and actually have been open, but i got a variety of colors that I'm going to get going. So if you hang on just a sec, I'll be right back with you and we're going to get going on it. Okay, see you in a minute. Y'all, I'm back. Um, Listen, look at all these rainbows of color, of color, of color. You know, you have this collection of little bits and pieces of paint here, and some of them had silicone from others, and I saved those for a while, and then I've got other paints. So anyhow, it's a menagerie of all kinds of stuff. So I just want to go over, you know, I can't even go over all of these. I can't even remember all the colors because sometimes they're a mix. So anyhow, this side over here, it's going to be part of my um, base and all of my trees. Um, some bronze and green, deep green there. I'm switching up from last time, burnt sienna and some lighter gold. And here is the darker gold, okay? My swipe color is going to be Payne's Gray. And I think this Payne's Gray has got a wee bit of a uh, iridescent in it. Um, all kinds of blues. I've got blues and purples and pinks and yellow. So, guys, I've got it. So, I'm going to set this side, this stuff aside. I've got white and I'm going to get it off the board. I've got a 12 by 24. Um, this is not a canvas. This is some board that my husband can get when he's at work. And he brings it home to me and I thought, don't you dare use that. That's mine. <laughs> You know how you do, ladies. Anyhow, I found a purpose for it. I love the way the paint and everything works on it. So, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty content with that. Let me move that over there um, as that's my swipe. Okay, just like before, I'm going to use a silicone um, thing for my paint, for my flowers and stuff. I'm going to use the light bulb, which worked out really cool. Remember, this is like one of those thicker, it's a spent one. You can hear the little jingle. Um, the thicker glass like they, they use in a fridge. Okay, and my handy dandy little stick. All right, let me move that over here. I got my napkins, I got my gloves, which I didn't put on yet. So, today was just a fun day. Not doing a whole lot. You know, just maintenancing the house. Oh, dishes and laundry and all that stuff and hubby doing his thing and so anyhow here we go I don't need to seal this is already sealed so I don't have to do anything to it this is going to cover um, I'll show you the backside it's a beautiful backside I believe it's just MDF um, and he cuts it for me I've already uh, it's all one little color and I've got it um, covered in tape um, that's what I've been using on some of my others. I've got some canvases, but man, for this kind of technique, this is pretty cool. So let me adjust my camera for me so I can see and make sure that I've got it. Okay, so I'm going to put all my fun grass and greens and shrubbery, brown stuff, whatever, right up on this area right here. And then I'm going to put my swipe color, which is the blue. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to work on those flowers. Sorry about that shadow. Again, it gets that time of day or night at my in my area, at least the direction I'm do, sitting or standing. Um, I've been trying to thin these down just a little. Some of them are really thick from doing another, like this green I had in there for a long time. This is a mixture of many, many colors in order to get like a, 
a hunter hunter green now all of these are pretty close to being the same consistency except my swipe color and my swipe color is definitely thinner than the rest of my paints okay and that's kind of how it should be so let's go ahead and just start you ready I'm ready let's go This time I'm going to try hard not to put too much paint on. Okay. Or at least um, if I do, I want to make sure that I take it off. Last time I don't think I took it off enough. And so, um, hmm, let's try some sienna. I'm going to put the darkers on the bottom. Burn Sienna is a good one. It's kind of weird looking at it with this. Um, oh, I almost don't have enough. I only did just enough, and there's some of them didn't have silicone. A lot of them did, but some of them didn't. So um, I just put one teeny tiny little drop. I mean, I want cells. Um, that looks pretty good. Okay. Um, let's see. How about this lighter gold? This was a mixture of all kinds of stuff, too. I mean, you can't do this wrong, right? I can't. <laughs> but, okay. I use these little paper cups. I'm not the biggest fan of these paper cups, I'll be honest with you, because sometimes, I've got it doubled up, sometimes you have to, um, uh, what's it called? I don't know, they start getting wet inside, and so it kind of peels up. This is a Titan Green. It's from Golden. This I do know the color and where it came from. And um, anyhow, uh, it was one of these free samples that I got in the mail from them, which I was so very thankful for them. And um, anyhow, and so I thought, well, I'll use that. I'd already mixed it up. Um, you know, I love, this is that Rojo Red. I remember this one, too. The Rojo Red from... Um, chromas and um, it was one of the prettiest prettier colors that uh, what's it called uh, dried on that other one with the blue bonnets I was kind of amazed at how pretty those blue bonnets oh my gosh um, so I'm gonna take more time I'm ho hopefully not gonna take too much of your time um, but I want to make sure you know that I do it right but I want to make sure I take a little bit more time and now that I kind of got the hang of it kind of sorta all right so here's this this is like a deeper king's gold or some it's not king's gold but uh, something a little bit deeper than regular 24 karat gold, which I don't have in this today. Can you believe that? Okay, so let me go ahead and get this moving around. Back and forth like that. Then back and forward towards me. Got my papers here. Got my Christmas wrap underneath. Y'all don't ever waste your old Christmas wrap. Use it. I just flip it over. Sometimes I have ho-ho-ho on the sides. I've been known to have snowflakes underneath it. Okay. I'm going to bring it back towards y'all. Can you see that okay? This, this has been a bigger canvas, so it's a little bit harder. See that? Let me move that. I can get out of the way. There we go. And I'm not real worried about that. Wow, I think I might have done just right on these colors. Look at that. There we go. We're still in. Okay. And so what I'm going to do here is just kind of bring it together. We know that when we swipe, it's all going to come together, but it's easier to do that. Um, my sides and my, you know, front and back, I can fix those up later with a little bit of the overflow. So um, not real concern. I just didn't want any blank spots like this when um, 
I go to a swipe. I want to have at least something, you know? So. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I know that looks kind of crazy, but that's the way it is. Here's some right there. I could probably use a little more. I know it sounds crazy. I did not drip off much. Not on the sides, hardly. Well, let's fix that up while I can. Right there. And this resin's oh so nice. These boards at heavy. There's my phone ringing. She's just going to have to let it go. Isn't that a good phone? <laughs> okay. Be right back. Got that? I just had to. You never know. But anyhow, she's a hairdresser. and Just wanted to chitty chat on her way home from, from work. Um, she's glad to get back to work. And I don't blame her. All right. Y'all see anything? Any holes? Not that it really matters. I'm fixing to... <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. I do have more paint gray if this isn't quite enough. Just thought I'd do something a little different. See how much you can see, it's much more fluid, but I wanna make sure I get enough down this end. I had to plan for a 12 by 24. Okay. And I'm just taking this right here. This is not what I'm using, and I'm just gonna kinda move it this way a little bit. If it's not quite enough, I'll make sure it is. You know what I mean, jelly bean? All right, put that in the trash. So, get some of these bubbles out. Hey, y'all, what do you think? I dressed it up. I dressed it up because I get a million things on it. We'll see. Keep this up a little bit, get rid of some of the bubbles, like right in there. Not too much. Like I got a, a spot right here. I don't want it too thin, so I'm actually going to pour down the line here at the top, especially because that's where we're going to swipe from. I may have to take my glasses off. I have trifocals, y'all, and sometimes I'm looking one way and then I move my head another way, and lo and behold, woo! I can't see. <laughs> Another little hole. I want to make sure all my little holes, the big holes, are filled. Anything else? There's one. Here's one. I know it's probably going to get filled, but it's that thought. You know, that thought. And I want this to turn out so pretty. No expectations, right? I'm going to wet my paper towel. Um, I'm hoping this will work. This damp, it sounds like it. it's a big one this time. All right. I'm almost afraid. I don't know if I can do a big one. Look how big it is. It's that big. I've never done one that big. Mm. I'm going to cut it in half and do halfsies. I just feel more confident. And she used to paper towel, Jeanette Owens. And so I'm going to... I'm going to do it and give it a try and is it Courtney Herschel or something like that does it also with paper towel. So I just feel a little bit more comfortable like I might have a little bit more control. So you're just going to go just to the edge. So you're not going to try not to get your stuff. Oop. Well, there we go. My puppies went in but too bad so sad. All right, here we go. We're going to pull it slow. And straight. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous. And I'm going to overlap a little bit, so I might get some more of that. All right. Okay, let's see if I can get it right this time. Did 
there is no rush when it comes to swiping so any of you guys feel like there's a rush like I got to get it done I got to get it done take your time okay y'all take your time all right now I know it hadn't popped up yet but let me get my torch here and see if we can't get it to that's looking pretty I'm hoping more right in here and in these other areas I may swipe again hmm I didn't think I had too much, but how do people do it so nice and neat? There we go. Slow and steady. Yeah, there's a lot of blue on here. Hmm. Okay, let's see what happens when I torch. Got lots of bubbles. I love this side. thinking about it, but I do not want to. Hmm. Y'all. It's a lot of paint. I do not want to waste. Hmm. I know I'm getting quiet because I'm, I'm really, really, really wanting to get that part right in here. Without taking all my paint off. Y'all, what am I going to do? Okay. Think about it. Be right back. Okay, y'all. I had to kind of start over. Um, the colors I was using just didn't work. There was something out of balance. And then when I swiped, I think I had too much. Now I'm having to swipe with with um <laughs> with some black because I don't have all the same colors because I was using leftovers. So we're gonna see how this turns out one way or the other I'm hoping it turns out um, colors are a little wacky I had to put on a whole bunch of new stuff and this time I'm gonna I'm going to swipe with this I feel like I had more control so if you're ready I'm ready I had to take a deep breath from all of this and usually that's not an issue so here we go all right Oh yeah, already it's better. Look at that already. Right? Oh my gosh, yeah. Much, much, much better. Here, let me get this one paper. I'd already been messing it. So I don't have a clean spot. There we go. Much better. Okay, here we go again. And I have definitely more control with this one than I did the other. There we go. Yeah, better, better, better. Oh my gosh, it's so much better. I was a little bit frustrated with the other. Um, and I was running low on so many other paints. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, let me move this over here. Okay, now I'm getting excited, y'all, because I was, ooh, like, whoops, frustrated, right? Okay, here we go. We're going to do it like that. And the Julie Cut says, always hold it from the center. So that's what I'm going to do. Go slow and steady. Wins the race. 
All right. It's kind of that same area that started playing a little goofy, but you know what? I'm going to take that one there. That one looks okay. Let's bring it down just a little. Can you see? Look how pretty those cells are, especially if you could see this right in here. Oh, I wish I could get you closer, but I can't. All right. So there we go. We're going to leave that alone, right? <clears throat> leave it alone. Look how pretty this is. Oh, that paper's gorgeous. Yep, so here comes the fun part now. Now I can have a seat and relax. This is going to be the, not that the other wasn't fun. <sighs> All right, y'all. Okay, are you ready? Let me go ahead and pop any bubbles. And now I feel short in this chair. I might have to stand up. But I don't know about you, but I think this is gorgeous. And I don't think that I have too much paint on here this time. Last time I did. I really did. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to have to stand up. Going to have to stand up. Let's see, this right here didn't quite. Let's see what happens there. Probably won't matter. I'll probably put flowers right on top of it, but it doesn't look like it quite filled in. Yeah, I'll just put flowers on top. Alright. So, let's see. I'm going to back this up a little bit, like that, only because I'm getting paint on my camera. My husband's going to have a conniption. All right, so I got my my ditty. Last time I figured out, I um, was not putting enough paint on to work in this, and then afterwards, this was very helpful to kind of fine-tune. So this is like a hard... <laughs> like a hard balloon it's very it's very nice I actually like it all right so let's go oh and I did add phalo green I had to switch up a few things I took a few colors out so the colors I'll put them on in in the um, in the info on the on the video and we'll see okay all right got some white over here too so you know, I'm just going to go for it with the, the blue. This is like a sapphire. It's very, very pretty. And some baby blue. This is actually Liquitex um, permanent light blue. Maybe a dot of purple. I don't know why I wanted a dot of purple, but I did. So let's see how it's lifting up. Ready? Lift up. Oh, look at that! Let's get a couple. You know, you need at least three. Looky there, I got one. I got a dot. See, I have all these fun colors, and I don't have to. Um, so that dot was actually cool. It landed right smack dab in the middle of the bloom there, of the little flower. And so we'll do it again. Get a dot. That might have been a little bit more dotish, but. Well, hello, kitty. Hello, you're so pretty. Isn't that pretty? And I think I'm going to come right up in here. So while I've got this dirty, right? I didn't think about what I was going to use for to clean it off. I'll just get some water here. And I've got my garden out there. Well, because I have puppies, I can't put all my pots and things out on my deck and things like that. So I've got those ones that kind of fit on the side of your, your wood posts and stuff and um, so I took pictures of my inspiration so I've got flowers that are blue 
And oh my gosh, that looks very, very pretty. Ooh. I think it calls for another maybe little one, like right in here. And I'll save one for down the other end. Well, hello, kitty. Her name's Little Bit, and she's a Russian blue, and she's beautiful, silver, gorgeous cat. But they're known for being very vocal, and she is my meow meow kitty, okay? She is always talking. Okay, I'm going to accept that. That's a good one. Okay, so let me wipe this out. They're kind of morphing, and I think the morph is coming from maybe the, let's see. The um, silicone, sorry. You ever have it? My husband laughs at me, says, your CD's skipping again when I have to think about my words. And I've been like this my whole life. You know, I'm actually a registered nurse, and I've not been able to work for the last few years um, due to major surgeries and things. Okay, life goes on, right? So, and I know when people are word searching that sometimes that's, you know, a sign of some type of neurological something or other, right? Well, I've done this my whole life, and whether I've just been off neurologically <laughs> my whole life I don't know but this is not a new thing with me so you know I'm just not gonna worry about it all right I think my next ones are going to be a little bit sm maybe smaller I love look at that oh my gosh it's gorgeous Wow yeah it's kind of it's kind of going loopy right there, but I don't care. I think it's very, very pretty. And I love the abstract of it. Okay. Here we go. How about some pretty... Oh, here's my carmine red. Y'all remember the carmine red that went kind of wild and wooly? We're going to mix a little bit of carmine red. And how about... A little bit of yellow. I do. We've got kind of that greenish yellow, that green uh, flash, the green flash. So I don't want too much. Oops. Maybe a dot of orange to maybe tone it. There we go. Let's see what we get with that one. But I do like that green in there, and I like the balance of the phthalo, don't you? Okay. One, two. Oh, I like it that they're little and see the yellow and stuff coming through. Might need another one a little bit um, more yellow. There's my red. Make that a little bit bigger. A little bit of yellow. And what did I say? Orange. This is not a fast process. You cannot race through this. So, here we go. Oh, I love it! I can't, oh, there we go. Here it comes. It's popping up. And I think I'm going to go right here with the same. What do y'all think? I think it's pretty. I do. This is my summer fling when it comes to flowers, y'all. I really miss it. It's been hard with COVID and just things in general, you know. And, well, with the puppies, our whole backyard has changed. They got into my flower bed right now and got into my salvia. I about came unglued on them. Not really unglued, but yeah, you know, like 
what the heck, y'all? Get out of there, right? They find, I don't know how they get in either, because we've had to do, we put chicken wire up, we put, they're just, you know, puppies, and what am I going to do with them? I'm going to love them, because they're sweet. They're more sweet than pain in the keister. And, you know, if you have babies in your house, everything changes, right? So, I mean, it's been a little while since we had puppies, or since we had pets, other than our kitties, because our other ones passed when we first moved here. All right. I'm going to bring a red one right there. You ready? And then I'm going to get my main colors that I want to do, and then I'm going to intermingle some other ones in here. So this might be a long video, and I may have to come back and show you when it's finished, okay? But I want to show you that there's nothing hard about this, and it is fun, fun. Wow, these are growing. See them? They're kind of morphing a little on me, which is not a bad thing. All right. You ready? Here we go. And down and out. <gasps> Look at that. I feel like I need I want one right here. I know that's like it just doesn't make sense, but it does in my brain. I want one right there. Just a little one like a rogue. I may have to get more yellow. I have it. I do have yellow left over. I don't normally put like silicone in my metallics, so when I ran out, I didn't have that many. And then I'm getting low on. Um, there we go. I think it needs one more, like little. I'm glad I have lots of colors to choose from here but I had all of these colors in my flowers and so you know kind of kind of goobered that one but we're just gonna leave it for right now okay so the next thing I need to do is come over here and wipe it out. Simple enough, right? Doesn't take much, and it doesn't have to be perfect because you're having blending of flowers anyhow, right? Okay. All right. What would be a next, a next good one? Hmm. How about? Some pink ones that come up like a stalk. You know what I mean? Little little pink stalks. So I won't put too much. Let's see. I'll start up here in the black. And we will start with... How about... I'm going to try to not put too much. But it may not happen. Oh, probably did too much there. Um... dot of white at that one. I did get the white does whoops does not have silicone in it though. Okay. That actually may turn out, believe it or not, because I am fixing to do this, almost attach it to the last one. This paint's a little bit thicker. We won't see how that looks until I'm done. I was afraid to do that, but you know. Oh, that's kind of cool. I've seen flowers.
flowers like that, right? All right, and then we'll do another one like right about here. Now I'm getting excited. I'll put white in this one. I don't think it really showed up on the other, really. Maybe a tad. Okay. I had people commenting. I had posted my blue bonnet one. And um, they were really fascinated on how I did it. Well, I got a video coming up tomorrow morning, and y'all, y'all be glad to see it. But oh, the blue bonnets turned out so well. I was hesitant. I was truly hesitant. That looks good. I might put some over here, like bring them down the row there too and kind of intersperse them there. What do you think? All right. Well, guys, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to be using some purples and some other colors, and I'm going to come back and I'll show you closer to where I'm finished, okay? Because this is going to take a while, and we don't want it too long. So I'll see you in a few minutes, okay? All righty. Toodaloo. Hey, y'all, I'm back, and I've been, as you can see, busy, quite busy, and I am absolutely loving this. I want to show you just a few little things that I've done. Um, these little simple little flowers down here, okay, anybody can do these. Um, I was using, let's see, the lighter pink, so let me show you what I do. I literally, <laughs> literally take a dot like this, uh, just, just like that, okay? And then I take my yellow, and I put a dot in the middle, and a dot in the middle. Now where's my stick? Oh man, just when I want to show you this, I just had it, literally. Okay, well, push come to shove, I got another one. Oh, there it is. I like this one better. It's easier to handle. I literally just take it and spin it. Look at that, just spin it around. Can you see that? I'll bring these up. They almost like little, like look like little rose petals. Okay, um, I'm very, very happy. I am gonna come back in and do a few stems and things like that, um, but it's gonna take a little while. This, this is definitely very detailed, um, and I'm thinking of adding just maybe a little bit of maybe purple. Let me see, where's my dark purple? Let's see what that looks like, guys. I'll just we'll just try a little bit more than that little bit right there. And just see what it looks like when I spin it around. I like that better. The spin. Looks more natural, huh? That doesn't even have enough. And it was very forgiving because I accidentally hit my paper towel over here. And it pulled up some of the, you know, the swipe area. And I just kind of... Okay. I'm really, really liking this. Really liking this. I like the abstract about it. This has kind of gone a little wild. I'm not so sure. I may have to go back in and maybe balloon it or do something. But this is going to take me a little while. This is very detailed and it takes time. Um, so anyhow... Uh, Guys, I'll post this when it's all done, and I'll let you see it. It's going to take a while to dry, I can tell already, but I'm okay with that. Um, so I'm going to continue to just piddle around on it and see if I can't finish it up a little bit and make it a little bit more finished. So guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you for coming and visiting with me. All of this was simple. None of it was hard. Okay, I'll see you next time. Toodaloo. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Bye.